Okay, so we have just uh, identified three new derivatives. We saw that the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, and we showed that using the limit process. Then the next thing that we did was to uh, assume that the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. And again, that is uh, substantiated through the use of integration, which we haven't learned yet. So we're going to have to take that one on faith. Then we found the general form of uh, at the exponential function, that is base a, any base, uh, not necessarily base e, raised to the power of x. And we saw that that is just a to the x times the natural log of a, where a is some constant, and the natural log of a, in turn, is also a constant. So this is three formulas so far. And the next thing that we want to do is add to these the derivative of a logarithm of any base of x. So we have been working with just the natural logarithm, which is base e, e being 2.718, now what, et cetera. And what we want to do now is work, be able to work with the logarithm of any base and to find its derivative. So let's see how we go about doing that. Well, the first thing, this uh, involves using what is known as the change of base formula. And the change of base for logarithms allows us to convert from, any, from a logarithm of any base to a logarithm of any other base. So we could convert something of some arcane base, a logarithm of some arcane base of 4, of 12, or whatever, to another base, base 10, or as we will use, base e. And the way that that's done is you just take the natural log or log whatever base you're trying to convert into of the x over the same log of the same base over a. So we're still not finding the derivative yet. We're just rewriting the original expression using properties of logs using the change of base formula to rewrite log base a of x as natural log of x over natural log of a. Where just as above, the natural log of a is a constant, whereas the natural log of x is a function. And so we've rewritten that, and at this point, this is really no different. Remember that the natural log of a is a constant, and as a constant, this is really the, uh, involves the constant multiple rule. Even though we're dividing by natural log of a, we could also think of that as multiplying by 1 times the natural log of a. Sorry, that would be 1 times, or 1 over the natural log of a times natural log of x. Again, that's just like 2x, or 2x to the third power. The 2, in that case, is just a constant multiple. And as a constant multiple, we don't have to, we could use the product rule here, but because it's a constant multiple, we just think of that coming outside. And the constant multiple rule says the derivative of a, a, a constant multiple times a function is equal to the constant multiple times the derivative of the function. So what we really need to do is multiply 1 over natural log of a times the derivative of ln x, which we happen to know already is 1 over x. And we will simply rewrite that in its product form as 1 over x times the natural log of a. And we write the natural log of a behind the x so that it doesn't confuse it as being the natural log of a times x or of ax. So it would be x times the natural log of a. And so that is our latest formula here. All right, so we have these four formulas that work with exponential and logarithmic functions. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. The derivative of any other base than e to the x is whatever that base is to the x times the natural log of whatever the base is. Then the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x, and the derivative of the log of some other base of x is 1 over x times 1 over ln a or 1 over x ln a. And so those are four big formulas that we will, we will be using. And we will add to these in a second the uh, inverse trigonometric derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. So we have these four and we will add six or so more onto that.